London's Harley Street has a reputation for its large number of surgical and medical private specialists. The Center for Health and Human Performance is on the cutting edge of athletic achievement, optimizing training programs to meet athletes' unique lifestyle requirements. Ultra marathon runner and 50K treadmill world record holder, Gemma Carter, has been a client at the center for over a year and as part of her schedule has regular consultations with nutritionist James Collins and physiologist Professor Greg White. How we work here at CHHP is what we call an MDT, a multidisciplinary team. On a number of occasions throughout the year, we'll get the entire team together. So we'll have myself there as the physiologist, as the coach, we'll have the physiotherapist, we'll have the psychologist, we'll have the nutritionist, and obviously we'll have Gemma in the room at the same time to talk about what we're gonna be looking to achieve. That's part of what we call the macro cycle. So that's the beginning of the preparation for the season ahead so that everybody knows what's going on. So effectively through the entire process, what we're doing is we're targeting the individual to make as bespoke a program as possible to optimize performance. The first step in Gemma's nutrition consultation is to get a reading of her body composition. This provides an accurate readout of her body fat and muscle mass. This information is important in analyzing the effectiveness of the program, whilst ensuring the athlete receives the correct nourishment at the right time. In terms of looking at quantities on how we fuel our athletes, firstly let's look at carbohydrate. Five or ten years ago we would have looked at a food plate and talked about percentages, 30, 40 or 50 percent carbohydrates. Now we know a lot more and we actually look at the grams per kilogram of the body weight in carbohydrates. For someone who's training at a lower level, we might set that around three grams per kilogram of body weight in carbohydrate per day. This varies right the way through to some of our Tour de France cyclists that when they're competing will be up near 12 grams per kilogram of their body weight in carbohydrate. What's the pre-event meal look like for you, Gem? What's been working for you? Definitely porridge. Okay. Stuck to it forever. Something inside it, some honey or something, and okay. some dried fruit, um, dried nuts. And how long before the race start is this typically for you? A good three hours if I can before. Sure. Um, and then I generally then about an hour before the race, I'm looking at having another snack. As well as carbohydrates, protein is a huge building block of nutrition. Its role in an athlete's recovery should not be understated as hitting a target amount will ensure they see the maximum gains possible in their training. Now in terms of protein, we don't quite see the amount of variance, but if we're looking at a sedentary person, someone who's not really working out, we would map that at 0.8 grams per kilogram of their body weight per day. As we start to place more stress on the muscle, that's when we need more protein to ensure growth and repair. If someone undertaking endurance training, this might jump up to 1.2 grams per kilogram of their body weight. The interesting thing about protein is, is that it's not just the overall amount that's important, it's the timings during the day. So we know that the muscles grow and repair best when they're giving servings of protein at regular intervals during the day. So what's that heart rate, just take a look? Sure. Okay, that's nice, very nice indeed. One of the things that we work incredibly hard on is to ensure that actually the athlete enjoys the process. Now that doesn't mean to say that every session is enjoyable, but globally overall, what they should be doing is coming out satisfied. The short, fast reps, I like, yep. short and sweet. The painful stuff is the longer ones. Yeah, yeah. The target of this particular part of the season was really around that, upping that 5K, 10K yeah. race pace effort, working on that peak running velocity, basically bringing the strength back into the program. Yeah. How do you define success? It's a really interesting environment. Is it about a gold medal around the neck? Is it about producing a personal best? To some extent, it's all about goal orientation. And I think the critical factor around identifying whether a program has been successful or not is fundamentally about whether it's delivered to those targets, to those goals that you've put in place. You have to identify what those targets are and the focus of the programming is to deliver those goals. And if you deliver those goals, that is success.